Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving system of linear equations by elimination method. Last time, we are done uploading how to solve system of linear equations by graphical method and substitution method. So the focus on today is on how to use elimination method or addition method to find the solution of the given system of linear equations. So we have here examples number one and two. Solve the given systems of linear equation by elimination method. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have example number one. The given system is 2x plus 3y is equal to 15. And we have x minus 3y is equal to 3. This is your equation number one. This is your equation number two. Our target here is to eliminate a single variable for us to find the other. So again, ang target natin is may eliminate yung isang variable para masolve natin yung isa pang variable. So paano? Una, hanap muna kayo ng variable with the same coefficient pero magkaiba ng sign. So here in this problem, ito yung sinasabi ko, meron tayong 3 and negative 3. Ibig sabihin yan, we can eliminate the variable y. So, copyin muna natin. You have 2x plus 3y is equal to 15, while the other is x minus 3y is equal to 3. Another thing na kailangan nyo tandaan is you need to align the terms with like variables or same variables para madali nyo lang ma-apply yung elimination method. And then, right after this, Add natin sila. Add. So, dito, this is equal to 0 or we can cancel it out. So, we can add these two terms. 2x plus x is equal to 3x. Then, equal to 15 plus 3. That will give you 18. As you can see, na-eliminate natin si variable y. At ang remaining variable natin is yung variable x. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, we need to solve for the variable x. So, solve this. Simply divide it by 3. Cancel natin to. It will become 1. So, your x is equal to 6. This is the first value of your variable, which is x. Since nakuha natin yung variable x, we need to solve now for y. Solve for y kasi siya na lang nawawala. So, sir, uh, paano po natin solve yung y? You can use between the first equation or the second equation. For me, I will be using, sige, try natin yung, second, yung first equation. So, you have 2x plus 3y is equal to 15. Sir, pwede rin ba namin gamitin yung second equation? Pwede rin naman po. As long as your x is equal to 6. I-plug in natin dito yung 6 natin sa variable x. So you can have this equation. 2 times 6 plus 3y is equal to 15. Simplifying this equation, this is 12. 2 times 6, 12 plus 3y is equal to 15. And then, on target kasi natin is to solve for y. Transpose natin yung number na to sa kabila. So, your new equation is 3y is equal to 15 minus 12. Simplifying this one, this will give you 3y is equal to 3. To solve for y, divided by 3. So, your y is equal to 1. Ang ibig sabihin yan is that the solution is 6 comma 1. This is the correct answer for item number 1 for that given system. Now let's move on with the item number 2. Now we have the given system x plus 3y is equal to negative 5. This will serve as your equation number 1. And you 4x minus y is equal to 6. This will serve as your equation number 2. 
So, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, we need to eliminate a variable for us to find the value of the other variable. So, sir, paano mo uli yun? Hahanap ka ng variable with the same coefficient pero magkaiba ng sign. Pero sa given natin ngayon sa number 2, we don't have that kind of case. So, you have x plus 3y is equal to negative 5. So, yung isang mo ay 4x minus y is equal to 6. So, sir, ibig sabihin ba niyan wala tayong ma-eliminate? Hindi. Gagawa tayo ng paraan. We will be multiplying the first equation by negative 4. Sir, bakit natin kailangan i-multiply by negative 4? I think simple na reason. When you multiply negative 4 by x, it will become negative 4. So, when you add negative 4x plus 4x, it will become 0. Yun yung purpose niya. Okay? So, you have negative 4x. Ito magiging multiply lang natin. Negative 4x and then ito, negative 4 times 3y it will become negative 12y ito rin, i-multiply ba natin by negative 4 is equal to 20 kasi para silang negative and then copy your second equation copy mo na lang yan you have 4x minus y is equal to 6 so as you can see, we can eliminate this part because negative 4x plus 4x is 0. Cancel it or magiging 0 in other words. And then adding negative 12y and negative y. This will give you negative 13y. And this part, it will give you 26. Dividing both sides of the equation by negative 13, it will give you y is equal to negative 2. This is the value of y. Now, since you already have the value of y, which is negative 2, we can now solve for x. Solve for x naman tayo. Solve for x. For the variable x, ang gagawin ko ay yung equation number 1. I will be using equation number 1, x plus 3y is equal to negative 5. Remember, your y is equal to negative 2. Ito negative 2, ipapalit natin dito sa variable y. Okay? So, you have x plus 3 times negative 2 is equal to negative 5. Simplify natin to x minus 6 because 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 is equal to negative 5. Transpose natin si negative 6 sa kabilang side ng equation. This will give you x is equal to negative 5 plus 6. Meaning, pag sinimplify natin yan, that is x is equal to 1. This is the value of x. Now, anong ibig sabihin yan if your x is equal to 1 and your y is equal to negative 2? Ibig sabihin, the solution... is 1 comma negative 2. That's it. For example, number 2. Ito yung sagot natin. Okay? So, kung meron kayong question about the solution na meron tayo, you can comment down below sa ating video. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at ihit na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye bye. Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page, which is named as Math Teacher Gone. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook, so I hope na ma follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have fourteen thousand followers and likers of this page, and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page nito. God bless.